Okay, let's go ahead and solve this equation using logarithms. Now, why do we need to use logarithms to solve this equation? Uh, now, imagine if I just gave you this equation. I didn't tell you that we needed to use logarithms to solve. I imagine a lot of students would probably have an facial expression like this. Hmm, not quite sure what to do, okay? Well, that's okay. Uh, and probably a lot of students couldn't make a mistake because let's, let's write another equation uh, out that looks similar to this but just completely different. What if we had this equation? x squared is equal to 20. Now, they are similar in appearance, but they're completely different. And uh, in this particular equation, the one that we're going to be focusing on, the variable is in the exponent, and here the variable is in the base. So how do I solve this equation? Well, this is a basic quadratic equation. All I have to do here is take the square root of both sides, so x would be equal to positive negative square root of 20. And then, of course, I could simplify this, but that's not... Um, the point of this video is the, the main point is that you need to be able to recognize what type of equations you're dealing with in order to know what tools you need to uh, apply to solve the equation. Okay, now of course here I'm, t I'm saying that we're going to be using logarithms, but let's get back to that question. Why are we, uh, why are we going to be using logarithms? Well, this type of equation is what we call an exponential equation. This is an exponential equation because the variable is in the exponent. Okay, so Exponential functions have an inverse and are called logarithms, okay? And the inverse of logarithms or logarithmic functions are exponential functions. So when you study uh, exponential functions, you're also going to be studying uh, log, uh, logarithmic functions because, again, they're inverses of one another. So the main idea is when you see an exponential equation, you're going to have to use logarithms. And when you see a logarithmic equation, you're going to have to rewrite that into exponential equations, but that'll be for future uh, topics and future videos. But uh, the main idea here is to be able to recognize, hey, what type of equation am I using? And then what tools do I need to bring uh, to the party in order to solve that? So here we're gonna have to bring our logarithm tools, which on your calculator, let me go ahead and uh, erase this. We're gonna be using this button on your scientific calculator, this LOG button, okay? Now, we could use this other button, this LN button, but this is not, uh, although we could use this, it's not, uh, uh, let's say, um, our first choice, okay? There's no need to use this. We use this in other occasions. Uh, I go over the LN, which is the natural logarithm, in other videos in my Algebra 2, Algebra 1, Algebra 2 playlist on my channel, but we're going to be using the LOG uh, function on your calculator. So if on your phone, if that's all you have, uh, you can find a scientific calculator app or whatnot, you'll, uh, and you kind of want to play along in terms of how to solve this, you'll need the LOG, or if you have your scientific calculator out, uh, the LOG button, the logarithm, the common logarithm, common log is uh, base 10. But again, uh, if you're looking at this video, uh, there's that keyword logarithms in there. So I'm, I'm kind of assuming that you are studying this material. Now, if this is new to you, just stick around. You're going to see that it's not that difficult to uh, solve a basic exponential function like this. And it's absolutely necessary that you know how to solve these guys, especially at the more advanced algebra levels. This is... Um, more appropriate, let's say at the algebra two, college algebra level. But uh, we're gonna get into the solution here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the uh, founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you want to check out my math help program, uh, I have a link to it in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100, I have 100 plus different math courses that's a lot of different math courses, right? Well, I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But uh, I have many, many specialty courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for like the GED, high set task, uh, SAT, ACT, uh, GRE, GMAT, CLEP, AccuPlacer, Alex, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis or nursing entrance like the TEAS or a military exam like the ASVAB, 
you know, there's a lot of people that are uh, preparing for uh, so many different type of exams, and these exams have a lot of math on uh, on them. So they're looking for ways to review all this math. Well, I have great test preparation courses. So just go to my site, take a look at my full course catalog. If I don't have what you need, drop me a line, and I'll give you some additional guidance. Um, I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. I have a great homeschool learning program. Uh, and then, of course, I help those of you who are just struggling in your math class can definitely help you out. But one thing I can't do for you, okay, that you need to do for yourself in order to improve in mathematics, that is the following. That's note-taking, okay? Over decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is apparent to me, those students who really put the effort in and take outstanding, I'm, ta I'm not talking about good notes, I'm talking about great notes, those students who can uh, produce fantastic notes almost always do very, very well. Uh, in terms of their grades, and the reverse is true. Those students are like, no, I just, I'll remember, I'll remember. Um, you know, I think they have like a photographic memory, you know, or use their math class time as, uh, you know, that social media time to get their cell phone out, you know, to catch up with the friends, all the things that I'm sure I did way back, well, not, you know, I don't, I know I did way <laughs> back in the 1980s. Uh, so listen, I get it, right? Uh, and then we didn't even have cell phones, like smartphones and stuff, because if I had one of these guys, I'm not even sure I'd graduate. I'd be completely distracted. So you have a lot of things pulling at your attention, all right? And if you're in math class and you're trying to like do other stuff, you're not going to be successful, period, point blank. That's, you know, I'm just telling you the, uh, the truth. So in order to be successful in mathematics, you have to remain focused, not sometime all the time because every little detail counts and it builds upon itself so the only way to remain highly focused in mathematics is to be uh, engaged in note taking all right there's plenty of time to look at your cell phone and talk to your friends after class but during class you've got to be focused on what the teacher is saying now as you improve in your note taking i actually have something for you to study from uh, so those notes or these are actual notes here detailed and comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra algebra one geometry, uh, algebra two, and trigonometry. So if you want to check out my notes, I'll leave links to those in the description of this video. Okay, so here we go. We have this exponential equation, and we're going to be using logarithms to solve it. Now, if you think you know what to do, okay, I would suggest go ahead and do so, right? I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, solve this here in one second. But let's uh, take a look at this problem in a different way. Let's say you didn't know... Um, about logarithms and you're like okay two to what power is equal to 20. let's just think about well, what how we can kind of approach this in a kind of a logical manner so if we would say well if i go two to the first let's do this over here uh two to the first power that's equal to two okay that's just uh, uh pretty straightforward well what about two squared okay so hopefully uh, those of you out there know that it's two times two so that's equal to four okay so I'm like, all right, how about two cubed? That's two times two times two, that's eight. Now, if you notice here, I'm uh, increasing the exponent, all right, I'm taking a look at the results, and I'm like, okay, I'm trying to figure out what exponent value, right, I've already tried one, two, and three, I'm not yet at 20, I'm at eight, right? So let's keep going. So two to the fourth is two times two times two times two, so that is 16, oh, we're getting closer. Okay, so we have uh, two to the fourth power is 16, but again, I wanna know two to what power, two to the what power is 20. All right, so let's go and try two to the fifth. Two to the fifth is gonna be two times two times two times two times two, and that's gonna be 32. All right, so woo, uh, now we went uh, way over. Okay, so it looks like Two, uh, uh, 2 to the sum power is equal to 20 is got to be somewhere between 4 and 5, right? Because 2 to the 4th uh, was 16, but 2 to the 5th is 32. So 20 is right in here someplace. And it looks like it might be closer to two, uh, the 4, right? So 2 to the 4 point something power uh, is going to be equal to 20. Now, I could continue to kind of guess and check, and I could go, okay, 4.5 and see... 2 to the 4.5, uh, see how that works out. 
and just keep dropping it down to to the four point say two and just keep going back and going back and go uh, adjusting you know through trial and error until I get to uh, pretty close to um, some exponent that gives me two to the 20th power now in mathematics this is not a good approach okay guessing and checking that's why we need logarithms okay logarithms are critically important to solve um, you know problems just like this one but this is an, a clear example of why we need you know to use logarithms to determine you know uh, what the exponent value is on, on particular uh, exponential equations okay so let's get to it how do we solve uh, this problem well here is the solution, okay, and you can see that the answer here is going to be 4.3219, and that kind of falls in line to our little experiment that we ran here, but you can see I got a bunch of work here. Now, before I explain this, I need you to understand something, okay? When you study uh, exponential and logarithmic equations, we have these things called properties of logarithms. Now, if you're not familiar with that, uh, I'm going to give you uh, two suggestions. One, I have... Uh, many videos in my Algebra 2 playlist on my channel, okay? So that's one uh, suggestion that you need to go ahead and learn about these. But that's, those are just quick summary videos. I would also suggest that if you're really, you know, um, serious about mastering this, I teach this very thoroughly in like my College Algebra or Algebra 2 course, okay? But the bottom line is you need to know a lot about logarithms and their properties because we're going to be using one of the properties of logarithms uh, to help us solve this. So let's get to it. So here's our equation, two to the x power is equal to 20. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the log of both sides of the equation. All right, we're gonna write this as log and log. Okay, so log of two to the x and log of 20. Now, if you go into your calculator, if you have your calculator out and you plug in like the log of 15 or log of 20 or log of anything, any number like so, you're gonna see some other decimal pop out. So the log of a number, and there's our there are other kind of restrictions depending upon what we're doing. But anyways, just you can kind of mess around with your calculator. This is a number in and of itself. Okay, so we find log of 20. You can type that in to your calculator. Okay, and you'll see some decimal pop out. So this is an actual value here. Okay, an actual decimal number. Now I don't want you to change and rewrite this log of 20 on your calculator as a decimal. Just leave it as log of 20. But just know that the first step we're going to do is we're going to take the logarithm both sides. Now, uh, I'm going to kind of pause myself here again. This is a very, very basic exponential functions. We can have uh, something that looks like this to, to let's say, x minus 1 plus uh, uh, 4 is equal to 17. In this particular case, we'd have to take more steps before we take the log of both sides. But again, you know, this is a real basic problem. Let's just get these concepts down here, and then you need to follow through and practice more sophisticated problems. But let's continue on. Okay, so first step is we're going to take the log of uh, both sides of the equation. Okay, now here I'm trying to solve for this x. Well, there's a property of logarithms, okay, and it basically goes like this. Uh, it says if I have um, the log of a power, okay, where it's a base and an exponent, I can drop down this little exponent and write it this way, n log x. And that's better seen over here. I have log 2 to the x. I can drop down the x in front of the log, just as I did right here, and write it this way, x log 2. All right, this is the secret to solving this problem. We need this property of logarithm. Uh, logarithms in order to solve this because log 2 if you go into your calculator that's a decimal all right just a number and this is a number in and of itself so this is x times some number equals another number this is something like x times 3 is equal to 7. now of course we wouldn't write that uh, this way it would be like 3x is equal to 7. so to solve for x i just simply divide both sides of the equation by 3. So x would be equal to 7 over 3. And that's basically what we're doing here. Okay, now I have x by itself. So to solve for x, I just, I'm just going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by log 2. Okay, and you can see that right here. So x is going to be equal to log 20 divided by log 2. So you go into your calculator and type in log 20. You know, uh, what I like to do is put uh, grouping symbols around these, but you just go ahead and, and uh, uh, 
get your calculator out and just type in log 20, put parentheses around that, divided by log 2, and you should get this decimal. Actually, the decimal continues on, so I'm just kind of rounding a little bit. So 4.3219, okay, or 4.3 roughly is uh, what x is equal to. So let's go back to our little experiment up here. So as we were saying, okay, x to uh, the 4, x was uh, too small because they only gave us uh, um, 2 to the 4th power is 16. 2 to the 5th power is 32, but it uh, looks like 2 to the 4.3, okay, would get us pretty close to 20. It's not going to be perfect because, remember, I'm kind of cutting this off, so the more decimal places I add into my answer, the more accurate I'm going to get. But effectively, if you did this, you know, and you turn this in on some sort of quiz, like in my class, my, you know, maybe my Algebra 2 class, I would in return give you a big happy face with a little mohawk and an A+, plus, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll give you 100% for this quiz, and maybe one star, because this is a real easy problem. But, if, you know, uh, the main idea here is that you're showing me that, hey, you got to take the logarithm both sides and use these properties, and then, you know, solve for X, uh, just as I did right here, okay? So... Really, uh, the main idea of this uh, video is one, teach you how to solve a basic exponential equation, but two, just as a good reminder of why we need logarithms and, and their relationship with exponential functions. Okay, so hopefully you learned something. That's always the you know clear objective of my videos. And if you learned something, if you like this video in some way, please consider smashing that like button. It helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time. Have a thousand, uh, well over a thousand videos, I'm sure, at this uh, time on my channel. I lose track. I just, uh, I just make videos. All right. My passion is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. There's no reason, okay, anyone should be failing math. Okay. Uh, if you are you know, not doing well in math, there's one or two things going on. One, you need to work harder and smarter, take notes, make sure you're, you know, if you're, if you're not doing this part, then anything else, you can switch teachers, you can be, uh, you can have a tutor, all that stuff, that's not going to help you. So you have to do your part. However, if for some reason you're not connecting with your teacher's learning style or teaching style, or, you know, um, there's other pressures going on. Well, there's a lot of resources out there, a lot of free resources like YouTube or in my uh, Math Help program. So if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of stuff of um, various mathematics, basic to advance on my channel. Okay, so take advantage of it. It's there for you. Or go to other people's channels. But the thing about it, you're going to have to take the initiative to help yourself. All right. And hopefully I can help you along because that is my passion. Okay, so let's go and wrap up this video again. It's one thing to watch me do this, uh, but you need to follow through and do additional practice if you really, really want to learn how to solve these exponential equations. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.